Hi friends, welcome to EduTab. So as part of this video, EduTab brings to you an in-depth analysis of agriculture section of NABAT officer level examination. Now friends, what is the need for this analysis? Basically, the section of agriculture took everyone by surprise in the year 2017 examination. In fact, it was a shocker. So we need to have an in-depth analysis of this particular section. So as part of this video, what we are going to do is we are going to see what was the trend or what were the type of questions that were from agriculture section in the year 2016 and 2017. We are going to compare the trend and then we are going to prepare ourselves for 2018 examination. Let us begin. Now let us start by understanding the importance of agriculture in NABAD examination. So we shall see the weightage given to this agriculture section. Only then we will be able to appreciate the necessity to concentrate on this particular section. So as part of phase 1, we see that 40 solid marks are from agriculture and rural development section. Friends, questions from this section amounted to only 25 marks in the year 2016. There was a change in the pattern and in the year 2017, the marks were increased to 40. So we can gauge the importance of agriculture. Now as part of phase two, there is a paper, which is a paper two for 100 marks that covers economics and social issues plus agriculture and rural development. This is an MCQ paper and we need to focus on agriculture and rural development because it constitutes 50% of the paper. Now this is for the general post. For the students applying for specialist post, this paper would constitute solely agriculture. Now friends, let us have a look at what were the type of questions that were asked in examination of 2017 agriculture section. Now these were some of the questions. Hen flow space as per NABAD norms. Seriously, no one would have thought that such kind of questions would be asked. Let us see some of the other questions as well. What was the percentage clay in black soil? We very well know the characteristics of black soil, but knowing the percentage clay in it seemed unimportant. But this was a question which was there in the paper. Then desirable depth of plowing for shallow rooted crops. Which crop has irrigated variety SML668? We wouldn't even have heard the name of this variety. Then there was a question which asked nitrogen requirement per 100 kg for economic produce of cereal crops. Now what do we infer from such questions? Basically we see that there was a reversal in the trend. The type of questions asked were, were related to core agriculture concepts and more of fact based as well as concept based. But this was not the case with the questions that were there in 2016 paper. In 2016, let us have a look at some of the questions. Only then we would be able to analyze them better. So we had a question which asked premium rate for Rabi crops under Pradhan Mantri Faisal Bima Yojana. Then there was a sanction limit for loans to food processing unit under PSL norms. Where is the headquarter of IUCN? Now when we see these questions, we can automatically say that if we, are, if we had kept a track on the current affairs and if we had read the Kurukshetra Yojana and newspapers religiously, we would have easily answered such questions. So friends, what was the bottom line? When we see that in the year 2016, the focus was specifically on current affairs related to agriculture and we had no questions that came from that had come from the core concepts of agriculture. Now in the 2017, there was a stark contrast where we could see that there was almost nil questions from current affairs and the focus was primarily on agriculture concepts as well as facts. To get a better understanding, let us have a look at some of the questions that were asked in the examination. We shall begin by having a look at the questions that were there in the 2016 phase one exam. 
So here we see that there is a question which is related to the intended nationally determined contributions. Now again here if you see this is related to current affairs. So keeping a tab on current affairs would have done the job. Next if we see there are two questions which are related to schemes. Then there was a very general question which was when was the third meeting of Sark agriculture ministers? Where was it held? So again this is a very direct question. Next there was a question on organic farming as well as plantation crop. So this was like a generalized questions and these questions did not go deep into the agriculture concepts. There was question on Swachh Bharat Abhyan. There was also a question which was related to certain terms which are there in agriculture as well as there were certain questions related to specific agriculture schemes like Van Bandhu Kalyan Yojana. So here what do we infer from all these questions? See the bottom line is a fair knowledge of agriculture plus a thorough understanding and updation of current affairs would have done the job. Now let us have a look at the questions that were asked in the 2017 examination. We can very well see here that the questions were related to the core agriculture concepts like example question on crop models, crops based on ontogeny, isolation distance for rice seed production. So these were not generalized but very specific questions. The other questions that were asked were which nutrient deficiency causes fern leaf and potato? What was salt tolerant crop? Question on integrated farming system. There were also questions which were related to crop having rain fed variety, nutrient deficiency leading to chlorosis, question on blind tillage, chromosome number in different organism and there was a question on budgeting as well. Now these are the couple of other questions that were asked. Okay friends, so far we have analyzed the type of questions that were asked in the examination 2016 and 2017 NABAR agriculture section. Now what is the takeaway? What is the use of this analysis? Now friends, whenever we approach a particular topic, if we know the type of questions asked in the examination, it becomes easier for us to learn that particular topic. So now after this analysis, we need to understand that they might, the trend might be changed and it is very unpredictable. So we need to prepare ourselves in such a way that be it agriculture questions or be it current affairs related questions, we should be ready to answer any type of questions that comes in our examination paper. So what we need to focus on is we need to have a holistic preparation. So friends, we have discussed what needs to be done. Now let us come to a very important question. How can we do this? So we at EduTab shall be providing you a very comprehensive course where each and every topic of agriculture is covered from tip to toe. All the concepts are explained in a very lucid manner. So students, even those who are not belonging to agriculture background can grasp these concepts and ace the examination. So basically our course is re-engineered this time. Now what is that we shall be providing you as part of our course? We shall be covering each and topic in detail as part of the content sheets. There would be MCQs for each topic with detailed explanation that will basically test your understanding. We are also going to cover the Narbad model projects and various agriculture and forest ministry reports. We are going to have an ex we are going to keep an exclusive tab on the agriculture current affairs and come out with the ARD document monthly. There would be coverage of Kurukshetra and Yojana magazines as well. So basically there's a one-stop solution for Nabad. So friends, after this in-depth analysis of the agriculture section of NABAD, let us brace ourselves to face any kind of questions that comes our way in NABAD 2018 examination. Let us begin this journey. So friends, happy learning.